Hey, sweetheart, how's it hanging? Uh, look, uh, can we talk alone for a minute? Now, I don't want to jump to any conclusions here, but I'm betting the reason you're angry is because I didn't sleep over after we porked the other night. Talk? You want to talk? After what you did to me? I can't even look at Pemberton Bear anymore, thanks to you. Granted, you reacted strangely to my earnest attempt at foreplay. It's just, who asks a man to do them with a strap on, you know? Really defeats the whole purpose of an erection, in my opinion, okay? Now you listen to me, Larry Lethage. I've thought a lot about what I'd say to you should we meet again. And I want you to know something, and know it well. You are, without a doubt, the most selfish, disgusting, Horrid excuse for us. I'm a homosexualist! I knew it! Mimosa's on the house! Come again? I love men. That's why I scarred you for life. I was afraid. Afraid that having hot naked sex with an attractive woman would turn me off men completely, making me ineligible to serve as Grand Marshal of the Walnut Log Gay Pride Parade. Well, you can see my dilemma, can't you? I don't believe you. You're a liar. Excuse me, Larry. I'm sorry to interrupt. I saw you from across the bar and I just had to talk to you. It's about what happened the other day. Oh, what the hell? Is the whole town here tonight? I know what you're gonna ask, and yes, it was me. I'll apologize to the women's swim team in the morning, okay? But right now, I really don't have time to discuss it. No, no, you misunderstand. When you stripped naked and danced around waving your private parts at me in a disrespectful manner, I learned something. I'm attracted to men. <laughs> yeah, it's true, and I have you to thank. Hey, you guys, wait up. My round, huh? You see, what I tell you, irresistible to both sexes, it's like a curse. My goodness, it all makes sense now. The penis pound, the makeover, the fact that you work in a gay bar. Maybe I am gay. Oh, Larry, you poor thing. I've been just awful. Oh, you must let me make it up to you. Oh, sweetheart, don't be so hard on yourself. I'll get over it in a year or two. Maybe less. Oh, you must. I insist. I'll never forgive myself if I don't set things right. Well, uh, how about a catfight tournament? You know, with all the lesbians, with me as a prize, huh? If we tape it, I know a website that'll give us at least $300 for it. I'll split it with you. Absolutely. Just let me know as soon as you're done streaking the gay bar and we'll go. 